Hi everyone and welcome to this Sun Salutation B tutorial. As I explained in the Sun Salutation A tutorial, which you'll find in the description box below this video, the Sun Salutations in Vinyasa Flow Yoga uh, serve as a warm-up at the start of a practice. Um, and help you to really start to synchronize the breath with the movement, they raise the heart rate, and they strengthen and stretch the whole body. And it's for that reason that even though they're seen more as a warm-up, they're actually a complete practice in themselves, which is why I love them so much. If you practice sun salutation A and B together for about 15 minutes, you're really gonna find you're getting a full body um, workout, as it were, raising the heart rate and energizing yourself for the day. So let's get started with Sun Salutation B. I'm going to go through each pose in detail with Mikael and then we'll do it once through at speed. Um, if you do the full practice, you want to work up to five repetitions of Sun Salutation A and three of Sun Salutation B, which believe me can be really challenging at the start. You'll probably find you've worked up a sweat by the end. So let's begin. We're standing at the front of the mat, toes to touch, we, um, weight evenly distributed through both feet, energy through the fingertips, hands are down by the sides. You're rolling the shoulders back, you're gazing forward, chin parallel to the floor, tailbone tucked under. So we're in a beautiful uh, Tadasana mountain pose position. Then from here, you're gonna inhale, bend the knees, sit the bum back and raise the arms up. Now the palms can either be touching or the hands separated if you're a bit tight in the shoulders. In chair pose, look down at the toes. If you can't see the toes, you need to sit the bum back further. Now to keep your balance, squeeze the thighs together, engage the glutes, especially engage the abdominals, pull the belly to the spine. You want to drop the shoulders away from the ears, draw the shoulder blades together so you're opening through the heart space. All this is in the inhale. Then you exhale, fold forward, belly to thighs, hands to floor, relax the head. Lovely. Inhale, fingertips to shins as you engage the belly again to lift the torso parallel to the floor. Long straight line from tailbone to crown of the head. The back of the neck is in line with the spine. You're drawing the shoulders away from the ears again, drawing the shoulder blades together to open through the heart space and you look forward without lifting the head. Exhale, hands to floor, step it back to high plank. In high plank, heels reaching towards the back of the mat, legs strong and engaged glutes engaged, belly to spine. You should really feel this in the lower belly if you're properly engaging the glutes and tucking the tailbone under. Push the mat away with the hands so that you round through the upper back. Look at the mat, back of the neck is long, fantastic. You inhale here, then you exhale, drop the knees, untuck the toes and bend the elbows, keeping them tight to the ribs to lower the rest of the body down. You can shift the hands forward as Mikhail's done. Then to come into baby cobra, you wanna push the tops of the feet and the pubic bone into the floor, engage the glutes, roll the shoulders back, engage the back to lift the chest, open through the heart, again, dropping the shoulders away from the ears, back of the neck is long. Then you push the mat away with the hands, tuck the toes under, exhale as you lift up to downward dog. I've got a downward dog tutorial in the description box as well, so I'll try not to spend too long here, but you're spreading the fingers wide, pushing the fingers and the knuckles of the hands into the mat. Externally rotate the upper arms, so you're really engaging through the shoulders, bringing the weight out of the wrists. That's also what you do when you press the fingers into the mat. Relax the head, look to the feet, engage the belly, so that you're lifting the hips high and towards the back of the mat, bringing the weight into the heels. Now, the heels may or may not touch the floor. It doesn't matter too much. You just wanna feel a little bit of an opening in the backs of the legs, but you can bend the knees as well. And you stay in downward dog for five long breaths. Now, not at this point though, in Sun Salutation B, because what you're gonna do from this downward dog is you're gonna come onto the sole of the left foot and that left foot is 45 degrees 
and it's directly behind nice Mikhail, the left hand. You bring the right foot forward just to the inside of the right hand. The right knee is bent, the back leg is straight, and then you raise the arms up. This is warrior one, so you can widen the feet. The feet are on train tracks. They're not one directly in front of the other because you want space for the hips. You're aiming to turn both hip bones forward. That is anatomically impossible for a lot of people, so don't worry about it. Just aim for it, but wherever you are is perfect. Engage the glutes, engage the lower belly. You are, of course, turning both shoulders towards the front as well. Palms can be together, um, or hands can be separated, whatever feels more comfortable. The foot is really at 45 degrees, not parallel to the back of the mat. Beautiful, so this is your warrior one. The knee is directly above the right ankle. I'm doing this side in more detail, the left side we'll move through more quickly. You come into this on an inhale. Exhale, hands to floor. Step back to high plank. Inhale in high plank. Exhale, we drop the knees, untuck the toes, lower the body down. Inhale, baby cobra, heart draws forward, shoulders back. Engage the glutes, exhale back to downward dog. And then straight to the left side. So on an inhale, the right sole of the foot, 45 degrees on the mat. You're stepping the left foot forward just behind or to the inside of the left hand. And you're coming up again to standing, keeping the left leg bent, the right leg is straight. Hips aiming towards the front of the mat, raising the arms overhead, palms to touch. Glutes engaged, barely engaged. And make sure that you're tracking the knee towards the little toe of the front leg so that you're not letting the knee drop inwards. Fantastic. And the outer edge of the foot, the heel is in contact with the floor with the back foot. So here you're on an inhale. Exhale, palms to floor. Step it back to high plank. I'm now going to show you the chaturanga option, which is a perhaps a more challenging option than taking baby cobra. So from high plank, you inhale. Then you exhale, bend the elbows to 90 degrees, no lower. You do not want to be dipping the shoulders too far forward. You could end up hurting your rotator cuffs. Whole body is off the floor. That's the exhale to lower. Inhale, come to the tops of the feet. Push the mat away with the hands. Draw the shoulders back. Heart draws forward. You're an upward dog. Only things touching the floor, tops of the feet and the hands, you look forward, back of the neck is long, in line with the spine. Glutes are engaged, legs engaged. Exhale, tuck the toes under, come up to downward dog. Mikhail's doing a fantastic job holding the positions for so long. If I'm talking quickly, it's just that I don't wanna make him suffer for too long holding poses like a tricep push-up and upward dog. So we're in downward dog uh, here, and this is where you hold for five breaths in downward dog. Okay, so again, you work on your alignment. You might find um, that you're finding more space in every downward dog. You might find that you're more tired in every downward dog. Then on the exhale, you walk, step or jump the feet forward to the hands. You inhale to halfway lift with the torso parallel to the floor, fingertips to shins. Exhale, fold forward, belly to thighs, relax the head, bend the knees, and then inhale to chair pose, sit the bum back, squeeze the thighs together, raise the arms. Exhale, come back to standing, arms back down to the side. Nice job, Mikhail, and nice job to you if you followed along actually holding everything for a long time. We're now gonna go through one round of Sun Salutation B at speed. But remember, if you're doing the full practice, you would do this three times. Okay, let's go. Inhale, sit the bum back, bend the knees, raise the arms, chair pose. Exhale, folding forward, relax the head. Inhale, fingertips to shins, torso parallel to floor. Exhale, palms to floor, step it back to high plank. Inhale in high plank. Exhale, drop the knees, untuck the toes, elbows tight to the ribs as you lower the body down. Inhale, heart draws forward, shoulders back, baby cobra. Exhale, tuck the toes under, downward dog. 
Come on to the sole of the left foot at 45 degrees. Step the right foot forward. Come up on the inhale, warrior one, hips facing forward, glutes and abs engaged. Exhale, palms to floor, palms to floor. Step it back to high plank. Inhale here, exhale, lower the knees to the mat, untuck the toes, lower the rest of the body down in one piece. Inhale, push the pubic bone into the floor, shine the heart forward, look forward, baby cobra. Exhale, tuck the toes under, lifting the hips high to downward dog. Come onto the sole of the right foot at 45 degrees. Step the left foot forward. Inhale as you come up to warrior one, left knee is bent, right leg is straight. Exhale, palms to floor, step it back to high plank. Inhale in high plank, chaturanga. Exhale, bend the elbows to 90 degrees, body one straight line. Inhale, push the mat away with the hands, straighten the arms. Upward dog, shine the heart forward, shoulders back. Exhale, tuck the toes under. Coming back to downward dog, holding here for five long, slow breaths, spreading the fingers, pushing the mat away with the hands. Externally rotate the upper arms. Relax the head. Lift the hips high by engaging the belly. On the exhale, walk, step or jump the feet forward. Inhale, fingertips to shins, halfway lift, shoulders away from the ears. Exhale, fold forward, relax the head, bend the knees deeply. Inhale, chair pose, squeeze the thighs together, sit the bum back, raise the arms. Exhale, come back to standing, arms back down to the side. Fantastic job. Closing down the eyes. Just taking a moment here to notice any changes in the body. Perhaps you're feeling the heart rate is elevated. Breathing is a little faster. Bringing the palms together at heart center. Let's inhale together and take an om on the exhale. Oh. Thank you so much for joining us for this tutorial. Let me know how you go with the sun salutation practice, especially if you end up doing it every day. See you next time.